see that it seems like health insurers are decreasing their use of prior authorization. Nobody really likes prior authorization. Is that a real thing or is it yeah, just Yeah, so sort that's of a, where, you know, United headline. just came out recently in the last couple of weeks and said, look, we're going to decrease our prior authorizations from, 10, uh, from 13 million a year to 10 million a year. And first of all, let's do the math on that, okay? If a prior authorization takes an hour to do, and sometimes it takes four hours to do, and if you take 13 million hours and divide it by 2,000 hours in a year for one FTE, that means it takes 6,500 people working full time all year just to get the prior authorizations from United. That's their full-time job. And that's just one health insurance company. So this is a incredibly, it ha, the, 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 one of the largest costs to um, uh, prior authorizations is the opportunity cost of the clinicians in time that they could be spending with patients. Instead, they are spending on prior authorizations. 